Okay, hi, we come to another added value fix up, and this is a house being sold by Auction Northeast on the 7th of April, lot number 17, 14 Raby Terrace, Ferry Hill, County Durham, a two bedroom terraced house guiding at £16,000. And we've precious little detail other than a picture of the front of the property, as you can see, and the floor plan which I will come to in a minute. Uh, the street is reasonably tidy and there is the house itself and as you can see it's a quite straightforward street of terraced houses on the one side and I think it's semi-detached to the other side so it's a reasonably good area. Uh, from what I can see the roofs do not need doing though they will need doing probably in the near future. You could just see them uh, at the top here. Good. It is currently E. It is 63 square meters, mid terrace. And as we scroll down, we have got a cavity wall. So that isn't a problem. We don't have, don't have to dry line this property. But you do need a new boiler. We'd recommend a new condensing boiler in the property. To raise the EPC level. So to go back to the floor plan, and here we have the area. The question is, can I increase the value? Can I add value to this property? Uh, what I don't know at the moment, as you can see, is where the break is in this wall, the wall between the lounge and the kitchen diner, because it isn't in the isn't in the plan, as you can see. Another point, by the way, this property is south facing at the back. So you are looking south towards the rear of the property. So can I add value? Well, this is what I would do to bring in another plan, which I have played with. Excuse the uh, slightly shaky drawing, but I'm not very really good at drawing with a mouse. OK, here's, here's what I would propose to do. First of all, we come in through the front door here, and I want a straight line to the back. So I track down the side of the living room or the lounge through this wall, and I go through the kitchen diner wall at this point, and I go on out through the back of the property. And I would take this wall out completely and make that into patio doors leading out into the south-facing garden, south-facing at the back. This makes my dining area here, diner, this area here, and I put a little wall in here to indicate where my kitchen would start, and I wrap my kitchen around this area here. This is two and a half meters, by eight feet, seven foot six. Over here, we've got the bedroom, I could do little with the top, the bedroom floor, by the way. I just was showing this so you can see how it matches up. Uh, but I can't, I, there's no point in moving the bathroom anywhere. Nothing, there's nothing to be gained that I can see anyway. And I've got two reasonable sized bedrooms. And therefore, I don't think there's anything to be gained at all by playing around with the, the, the bathroom floor, bathroom, bedroom floor, first floor. Just to give you some indication. There's the bathroom. The door goes in through the middle. I assume that's sensible. Here's the bedroom. I've got a decent doorway here, uh, up here against the wall. This is three, just over three meters, the length of, of the uh, second bedroom. I've got uh, 2.7 meters across this wall here, so it's sufficient for the head of a bed. And the door opens again sensibly against the staircase wall and I've got a closet at the top of the stairs. So I've, I've literally nothing to do other than rewire and sort out, put the wardrobes in if I wanted to, things like that on the first floor. The added value all lies on the ground floor. So back to the ground floor. This area, by the way, I put washers in. So I put a washer and a dryer stacked under the um, stairs. And I've got the bathroom above it, so that the drainage of the water is above it. So I don't have a problem with that respect. I make my kitchen wrap around in this area. 
area. Sink under the under the uh, window, and, and I've now got two walls or three walls, in fact, all the way around uh, to make my kitchen. I can put a hatch through this uh, this uh, wall if I wanted to, but this would be my kitchen area. Uh, coming through, walking past the kitchen, walking past the breakfast diner area, out through patio and doors into a small rear yard that is south facing. To what degree this would raise the value, I don't know. It wouldn't be substantial, but it would certainly make it easy to operate and uh, more attractive, I think, more attractive. So that brings me to the end of this video. And if we can help you with the due diligence on it, back to the beginning again, £16,000 uh, guide price. There's just over two and a half thousand pounds worth of costs to pay if you buy it. Eleven forty including VAT buyers premium, twelve hundred including VAT administration charge. Forty day completion, as I say, EPCE. And there's not a lot more to say about this property. Uh, there's nothing in the details, nothing in the legal pack to cause any problems. Uh, as I say, I think within a few years, uh, the, it will need re-roofing, but that will apply to the whole terrace, not just this single property. That brings me to the end. Look forward to seeing you on the next added value fix-up that we look at.